Hello, I'm Angie Thorne and I'm coming at you today for our Tuesday tip this week from Eastern North Carolina. I am super excited to be able to talk with you a little bit about the summer months. Now, in the past, I have been guilty of saying, okay, it's summertime, the time to rest, time to take a break from my business. And I promise you, it's a lot harder to restart that momentum than it is to just keep it going. Whether you are really having things going great right now, or maybe you're struggling a little bit and you, you haven't been as busy as you wanted to be, the summertime can be a fantastic time to prepare your business for the fall. We're always thinking about three months ahead and the fall shopping season and holiday season will be here before we know it. So while we want to enjoy our summer, and it may look a little bit different than the rest of the year, this is a time to kind of look at your business and rethink things and see how you can best build that momentum and keep it going throughout the summer. First of all, you want to look at your calendar. You want to block off all of your vacation, your family time, your pool days with your kids or your grandkids, whatever you have that's already on the books that you know that you're going to work around that. So don't use that as an excuse that your calendar is too full and you can't fit things in because we know that it's not any more full than it is during the rest of the year and we still manage to get it done. So I want you to just go through your calendar and, and pick your dates that you are available. See when you can fit things in. You also want to have daily activity, whether it's just 15 minutes or it's a couple of hours, whatever it is that you can find time to do something daily for your business. I find this very motivating for me to do something every single day that will help my business in one way or another. It may be something planning for my team. It may be connecting with my designers. It may be reaching out to potential hostesses or customer follow-up. Whatever that is, just a few minutes each day can really make a big difference. And the summer is no exception for that. So you want to be consistent, but not constant. You don't want to um, miss out on fun times with your family and with your kids or grandkids. So you definitely want to um, realize that yes, it may look a little bit different, but it does not have to be an opportunity for you to just say, no, I'm just gonna coast through the summer and wait till, till um, conference and then I'll pick things up. I promise, promise, Allie has told us many times that it's a lot harder to build momentum than it is to keep momentum. So now is a perfect time to get that momentum or keep it going. Scheduling your Facebook post in your VIP group. This is such a huge help and this can be something that you could do as much as the whole month. You could schedule all of your posts for the month. I try to do that for at least one post a day so that I know if something comes up, I am scheduled. I want my customers to know that I am still in business even though it's summertime. You want to possibly update your VIP group cover photo. Do something fun that's related to summer. Let them know that you, you understand that it's summer and, and things look a little bit different, but you're still there for them. You also want to maybe show them some behind the scenes. If you're on vacation, take a pic. Show, let them know that you're doing some vacation time with the family. Show them if you're by the pool or something like that. They want to see what you're doing too, and it, it just makes you more relatable and helps to build that relationship with your customers. How about um, a theme party? Whether it's online or in home or by the pool, you could come up with some really fun summer themed ideas that will be different than any other time of the year. Chill out with us, fun in the sun, sweet summer soiree, or how about stay cool with Jay Bloom? Make a splash with permalinks, a poolside permalinks pop-up. If you are lucky enough to have a pool or a friend that has a pool, then you are lucky enough. So you should take advantage of that and suggest, let's do a poolside pop-up. I've literally put permalinks on someone when they were in the pool and had their arm outside on the ledge. Seriously, may not be the most ideal situation, but it works. It's just so simple. This is something that you definitely um, can do. How about J Bloom in June or J Bloom in July? I love little alliterations. It just makes it so much more fun. So there's lots of things that you can do to take a spin on things and just make it a little bit different for you and your customers. 
So you want to really think about that. So now that you've got a few how-tos to keep your summer um, going strong, how about let's talk about your mindset. Now I'm all about mindset because you can have all of these tools and these tips, but until you have your mind in the right place, that's going to be your biggest obstacle. I've often said that I get in my own way all of the time. So it's time to get out of my way and you get out of your way. Don't be telling yourself stories in your head. Oh, it's summertime, nobody wants to party. I'm sorry, but summertime is the best time to party. People are out of school, kids are um, wanting to hang out still. So get the kids together, get the moms together. You can still have a party. So don't tell those crazy stories in your head and start to believe them and start to think that, no, this is, um, this is a time for me to sit back and just coast through the summer. Now you totally can do that. That's your business. It, that's the beauty of this business is that that's your option. But I'm suggesting you take a look at it and see how hard would it be for you to keep the momentum going this summer and, you know, conference is not until the end of July. If you literally take off June and July, that's two big months that you could really be using to help build up excitement about the new catalog, excitement about the fall season. And by doing that, I'm not saying talking about those things. I'm just saying, letting them know that you are open for business for this summer and that you are there for them. People still have to buy gifts. Still pe people, people are doing weddings. Father's Day, um, graduation, there's lots of gift um, opportunities that people are still needing gifts and you want to be the person that they go to to help them with that. So basically, I'm just saying take a moment, decide now what you want your summer to look like in your J-Bloom business. And you can do whatever you want to do, but I think you'll be super excited to find out that if you go ahead and keep that momentum going, you will set yourself up for an amazing fall and holiday season and really be able to take advantage of that time. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.